Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration on Monday. What was life like when Martin Luther King Jr. was growing up? Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. When he was growing up, some white neighbors wouldn't let their kids play with him because he was black. Back then, people of different races and cultures were not always treated equally. People were often mistreated just because of the color of their skin. African Americans and people of other races were not allowed to go to the same schools as white students. Segregation is the separation of people based on their race, culture, religion, or other reason. There were segregated businesses and even segregated water fountains. But Martin Luther King Jr. worked hard and overcame many challenges. He skipped two grades in high school and went to college. Then he went to graduate school to study religion and received his doctorate. That's why we call him Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. After, he became a reverend, or a leader of a church. He began organizing the community to protest segregation and fight for equal rights for people of all races. What did Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. do? In many parts of the country, whites and people of other races had to sit on different parts of the bus. On December 1st, 1955, a woman named Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white person. She was arrested and sent to jail. Dr. King helped organize the Montgomery bus boycott to protest segregation on buses. Thousands of people refused to ride the bus for over a year. Finally, the Supreme Court ruled that segregation on buses was against the Constitution. After, Dr. King and other church leaders came together to form the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Together, they decided to fight for equal rights in peaceful, nonviolent ways. Dr. King led more boycotts of businesses that practiced segregation or treated African Americans unfairly. He also helped organize sit-ins. A sit-in is a kind of protest where people sit and refuse to move or leave. People sat peacefully in segregated restaurants in protest. Even when the protesters were mistreated, they refused to leave. Although segregation was against the law in many places, it still happened. Dr. King helped organize protesters who rode buses to make sure segregation was not being practiced. They were called Freedom Riders. Dr. King helped organize peaceful marches around the country. Marchers asked for equal rights and fair treatment of people of all races and cultures. Sometimes they were mistreated, but they stood up for what they believed in. What did Dr. King do in Washington, D.C.? In 1963, Dr. King helped organize the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Hundreds of thousands of people of different cultures came together. There, he delivered his famous, I Have a Dream speech. He said, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Even though Dr. King protested peacefully, he was arrested many times. Some people disagreed with him, and they tried to scare him away or hurt him. But he didn't let anything stop him. In 1964, 
Dr. King won the Nobel Peace Prize, an important award given to people who work for peace and equality. On April 4, 1968, Dr. King was in Memphis, Tennessee, to support African American sanitation workers who were protesting unfair treatment and pay. Dr. King was staying at a hotel and was standing outside his room. There, he was shot and killed. A man named James Earl Ray was arrested for assassinating Dr. King. Thousands of people walked in the streets to honor an important leader of the civil rights movement. Today, many people are still treated unfairly, and the fight for equal rights continues. We celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day to remember his life and to learn about his beliefs.